Okay, first off, this tutorial is going to be useful for anybody who's using Unreal Engine, regardless if you've been following this uh, tutorial or not. So it's a bug fix, if you will, and it's with the engine. So I noticed uh, after we converted to a C++ project that our compile button does not work. You push the button, um, Visual Studio should kick off and start compiling, whether it actually loads or not. I don't know. I don't think it does. Um, but either way, it should still, you'll hear a little noise and, and something should be happening, but nothing's happening. Um, how did we get here? So we didn't just start the, this doesn't happen when you start with the C++ project. When you start with the C++ project, everything's fine. But if you go from a blueprint project to a C++ project by adding a C++ class, which is what we did in the last tutorial, you can get this bug if you select none and this is 4.20.3 i don't know if it'll do it for the other versions or not and i don't recall having this issue before but i didn't do a lot of c plus plus and blueprint so it's very possible that i had this error the whole time this problem the whole time and didn't know it so how do we fix it well you can fix it by never having the problem in the first place. Um, and I'll tell that route is when you go to do a new C++ class, don't pick none. That's the problem, okay? Um, you need to pick anything but none. And I picked character. But let's say um, you've already, you know, like in the tutorial series, you've already done all the steps and you've already made, um, you've already made it with a none class. Well, how do you fix it? Well, I'm going to show you that. And let me back up real quick for those that are following along with the tutorial. Um, this is not the exact tutorial project. It's a variant of. It's, it was how I found, found the issue. Um, I, I was pulling my hair out trying to figure out why the uh, compile button wouldn't work and trying all these different things. So don't worry if your stuff doesn't line up with mine. Um, but if you're having this bug, there's a few ways to check that you're having it. First, obviously, the compile button doesn't work. And after you've reopened your project, you won't see the com you won't see the none class in any of these folders. You go, well, here's the C++ folders. Well, that's what I thought too when I was quickly doing the tutorial, but you're not really seeing your C++ folders. If you go over here um, and you go to your view options, you can show, um, show C++ classes. You want that, but like show engine content, you knock that off and you're not seeing your C++ classes even though we have show C++ classes, right? So that's another indicator that you're experiencing this problem, okay? So anyway, let's get to it. Let's get to the solution. So what you're going to do, um, if you're already here, just right click. We're going to do another C++ class and we're going to, this time we're going to do a character. That's, this is going to be it. Um, and then we're going to do some compiling and stuff, but do character. Next. Um, what are you going to name your character? Now, you can name it. I would normally say you can name it whatever you want, but lately things have been so buggy. If you want to name it exactly what I named my character to make things wor work, I named it Batman. I don't know. I think it saved the day. Uh, for <laughs> That's what I did, and it worked. So name your class Batman. Um, create the class. And I don't have my speakers on, but I believe last time I did that, it made the little beep thing when it came up. I don't, I don't think that's going to come through because of how I have my audio, um, routed. Maybe it will probably not. Um, but w after, after it all loads up, it'll do a little clicky click, but that doesn't matter. We'll, um, once this thing processes through, we'll go through the proper steps and then we'll, we'll have everything good to go. So Anyway, how I even discovered this, I was working on a plugin and I thought the plugin somehow affected the compile button. So it's taken me a long time to figure out that the error actually occurred um, in the adding, trying to get to a C++ project. I thought it was a million other things. So this can happen with a fresh project if you just add the none class. Okay, so so this is important. So this can happen even if you're going from like a blueprint um, to a, and see it has the compile failed down here as well. This, this can happen um, if you've 
done it right the first time just added the character class and never did the nun class i mean this can pop up so it says successfully added class batman however you must recompile the tutorial one module before it'll appear in the content browser failed to automatically compile that's fine um would you like to open the output log to see more details i mean you could say yeah if you, uh, yes if you want to you know look what's going on that's fine um but i already know what's going on so i can help you with that so sweat not okay just save all but uh, do me a favor and exit out of this. And notice we're, we're, not, we're still not seeing any classes. Okay. And I'm going to also send you this link. It does tell you the wrong way. To, well, not the wrong way. At one point, it was the right way. But it, it shows you the uh, kind of honestly how I discovered this bug. It, it'll give you all your steps. It even has the wrong step of adding the nun class, the big no-no that we talked about. And then basically we, we're gonna pick up on stop step four. And this is Oller, you know, or if I said that right, he did the, um, oh, he had a really good uh, shooter thing on the marketplace a while ago, it was awesome. But anyway, regardless, you, step, you go from step four on out, and I'm gonna go through them with you, and everything is gonna work out just fine. How I figured out the problem if you keep scrolling down, there's this guy here, and he's like, hey, the way you fix this is add anything but a none class. And then he goes on to say that I, he didn't have to do any of the uh, additional compiling and all that other crap. Maybe not your first time you won't, but eventually you're going to have to do all these other steps. Um, at least I did. So you kind of got to take a mix of what he says and what he says and mix it together, and then the problem solves itself. So let's let's continue on. Um, it even says here, like I said, just start from step four. Um, you may be prompted with a warning message uh, about not being able to compile. Okay, that's fine. Just close everything and then close the editor. That's important too. Okay, make sure you're all closed down. Um, navigate to your Visual Studio. So let's do that. And I'm going to see if I can effectively try to keep multiple windows open. I'm going to open this guy up. And that that's the Visual Studio um, of our project. Your project, like I said, may look different. This is a variant of the tutorial series we've been working on, trying to get everything worked out. And uh, right now, Visual Studio is popped up. It's in another monitor, and it's loading, and it's doing all the all the stuff that it normally does. But I'll tell you what, this, this bug right here held me back a while. Um, I tell you, when you go around assuming you know what the problem is, and it turns out to be something completely different, that can uh, that can really be be an issue. So, notice this parsing files is going on. I'm going to let it um, process through all that. I may fast forward, so if the thing jumps real quick, don't think that your computer's slow. That just is me probably editing the video so that way it goes forward so i'm going to let it go and let this parsing files garbage go don't mess with it okay so we'll be back when this thing is nice and done okay so our stuff is finally finished parsing through everything down here so we're good to go um we left off i have double screen this so we can kind of follow along here so we did save step four step five um Okay, and we already skipped a skipped a step right here. Um, we got to go and generate our Visual Studio project files. Um, I know we've already done that multiple times, but let's make sure um, we did that. So all I'm going to do is just backtrack just a little bit here. Um, yep, save, and then right click, generate Visual Studio project files, and it seems like you have to do this every so often you have to every time you do certain changes sometimes you just have to do it open visual studio back up okay so bring these back just like this and continue on through the process so we went ahead and generated our Visual Studio project files. We're gonna open our project in Visual Studio. Um, we already did that. Visual Studio should load. And he's talking about themes and stuff that doesn't matter. Um, find and select your project in Visual Studio Solution Explorer. So let's make sure you get the, the project and not the UE4, get the project over here. Um, and you can tell it's, 
it it has your files that you made your batman class and then i was playing around adding all these different classes trying to get them to show up trying to figure out what my problem was but anyway um that's it so you want to have that so you want to select the right build configuration so we're going to go to development editor over here make sure your project selected right click and hit build I'm just going to give that a moment. Okay, that only took about a minute or so or less. Um, after you do the development, then or sorry, the development editor, it tells you it should result the project being compiled successfully with zero errors, which is what we have. One succeeded, zero failed, up to date. Um, set the build down to development. So go to development, select that right click and build again okay that only took a couple minutes uh, we have one build that succeeded zero failed and uh, we're up to date on there so that should be pretty good to go here so let's go ahead and save um, even though you probably don't need to uh, we minimize this and then I'm gonna exit out of the Visual Studio for right now and then we're gonna go back into our project Okay, back into the project. Now for the moment of truth, I'm going to click the button and see if it compiles. And it's compiling C++ code. There you go. So it's working. It compiled quickly. Everything's good. Um, normally, you would... Oh, and the other, the other way to check this is you can now see your C++ classes. Um, everything pops up. Well, at least the, the one you created properly did. And we have our Batman class. Uh, you should be able to access Visual Studio from here. You, you always could actually access Visual Studio from your C++ project or I think any project really. But um, now it's you can get it from the editor. So that's a good indicator. There was something going on wrong um, w with how we had it before. So everything should be good. I'm just double checking. Yep, there's our class, our CPP file. So if you want to do some C++, now you can. Um, add variables, do whatever you want. If you know how to do that. And all is good. So that's all for this one. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Say hi on Facebook, and I'll see you on the next one.